Like now that now that new metal's dead and there is no particular thing dominating any sort of metal, what would be their, their well, who would be on there? You know. Well, I think like towards the end of it, they try to be a little bit more. Yeah, towards more, the end they got more some really rounded. Cool. I mean, they got Iron Maiden then there. They got Judas Priest. Mm-hmm. Um, they got a couple. Of, like there was the, the last one I remember going to. Ozzy headlined the second stage, and okay. you know probably because he sucked. Um, but then System of a Down headlined the main stage. Oh, I remember that one. That was, yeah, it was at Reynolds Island. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and like like I said, that was just the, the the big show of the year. You know, try and get a whole bunch of different bands together. Now you got like these these festivals that are also very geared towards their particular sound. Like the Summer Slaughter Festival is like you get a bunch of death metal bands, and that's all you're gonna get. Yeah, Ozfest at least you got you got Ozzy, you got System of a Down, two completely different bands. You got Black Label Society, then you got a couple of the up and comers, and then a couple of the random headliners on the, the main stage, and they're all vaguely different. They're, they all had something different to offer. That's that's the weird thing because it's like how much does that mesh. I remember, I think the one of the years Dimmu Borgir was part of the lineup. Mm-hmm. And it's like, okay, these guys are nothing like everything else, and it's also weird that they're playing in the daytime, but whatever. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I'm pretty, was, that may have been the same year as, as like, Judas Priest. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. this is this is a crazy lineup. How well does that mesh well, for audiences? Is, I, think, I, think it, I think it depends on the, the audience, really. Yeah. Like, here in America, we tend to, to not be that eclectic but if you go to a festival in, in Europe oh, yeah, you see, you I mean the Vakken Metal Festival you're going to get every single kind of subgenre of metal that we talk about you're going to get it at that festival no. and do they all necessarily mesh together? no no, <laughs> no that- you're going you're gonna to have Blind Guardian followed by like Elvedi followed by freaking Dimu Borgir yeah. I mean you're going to get all spectrums of metal in that one show mm-hmm. um and I think that's why those big three-day festivals probably do very well in, in Europe and not so much here. 